Let's move a grand piano. First, wedge the keyboard cover shut with a piece of folded tissue paper at each end. If the keyboard cover is the removable type, remove it and pad it separately. Carefully remove the lid hinge pins. Remove the lid hinges from the piano. Remove the lid gently. Be careful not to scratch it. Lift, don't slide the lid when you remove it. Wrap the lid in furniture pads. It's important to know the legs of a grand piano are always numbered the same way. Leg number one is at the left side of the keyboard. Leg number two is under the right side of the keyboard. Leg number three is the leg at the far end of the piano. Fold one or two pads over a piano board. Place the piano board on the floor along the left side of the piano. This is the leg number one side, which is the longer side of the piano. Make sure the heel of the board is next to the keyboard. You're going to lower the piano onto this side. Some movers place pads under leg number two and leg number three. This sometimes keeps the piano from slipping when it's lowered. Have two workers lift and steady the piano as a third worker loosens the bolts to leg number one. The two workers must continue lifting as the third worker removes leg number one. Then all three workers lower the piano gently onto the piano board. If the keyboard cover is left on, it should be snug against the padded heel of the piano board. This piano has a removable keyboard cover. Ease the piano up onto its side. Now two workers can steady the piano while the third worker removes the remaining legs. If the legs aren't already numbered, label them correctly. Put all leg bolts in a bag. Pad all three legs. Now you're ready to pad the piano. Drape three or four pads over the top of the piano. Use tape to hold the pads together. Never put tape of any kind on the piano itself. Attach straps to the piano board or run the straps through slots in the board. Yeah, like the moment.